right here. Make yourselves nice and comfortable on your back. Fun, lie down. Before doing anything, just take a deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale out through the mouth, starting with a nice breathing exercise here in the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. One more breath here. Inhale, nice and deep breathing through the nose, bringing it into that back body. And then exhale, draw all the air out as you close your ribs. One more breath just for good luck. Inhale. And then exhale all the air out. All right, scoot yourselves up just a little bit so that your tail, but you can have enough room on your mat. And then you're just going to take your tailbone, you're gonna just shift it down to the floor a little bit so you have your neutral spine. Lift your arms straight up to the ceiling, plug your shoulders down away from your ears, keep that chest nice and broad. Breathe in nice and deeply through the nose. And then exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat as those arms will come down to your hips. Nice, take a deep inhale. And then exhale, slowly release that position. Breathe in nice and deeply through the nose, inhale. And then exhale, curl up one more inch deeper, pulling those abdominals in towards your spine and up towards your ribs. And then exhale, lower it. All right, on this one, you'll take a deep inhale. And then exhale, curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Pull your stomach in towards the spine. That spine is pressing into the mat. And then exhale, float it down. Grab your ball. We're going into that hundred or keep the head down. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Bring those knees in toward a uh, tabletop. Extend them out to the out to your point of challenge. And then begin your pumping here. In two, three, four, five. Now exhale. Two, three, four, five. In. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. Don't forget to squeeze your heels together. Lengthen the back of your legs. And keep pulling that stomach in. Look down at your belly. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep those elbows nice and soft. Squeeze your bottom in. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Curl up an inch deeper if you want that challenge. In two, three, four, five. Now exhale, two, three, four, five. Maybe lower your legs just an inch. Keep squeezing your bottom in, two, three, four, five. Now exhale, two, three, four, five, in. Reach those arms up, two, three, four, five. One more breath, in. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Float your legs down, lift your arms up. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Roll up and reach for your toes. Take a deep inhale, roll yourselves down as those shoulders are away from your ears. Get a big stretch back here. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale. Curl those head and shoulders off the mat. Reach for your toes, lengthen the back of your legs. And then exhale, float it down, vertebra by vertebra. Reach those arms far back. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Reach for your toes. One more time here. Roll down. Go nice and slow at your own pace. Roll down. Those arms can come down by your sides. Bring your right leg in towards your chest, and then extend that leg up to the ceiling. Now give that leg a good pull, or maybe you can Hold it more towards your calf. And then, of course, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. And pull that knee a little bit more closer to your forehead to get an extra stretch. All right. Staying here with your arms nice and long, head curled up, 
or you can lay your head down. Now let's just cross it over and come back up for two and three. Look down at your abdominals. Do not look up at the ceiling because that's where you will strengthen your neck. Look down at your belly and come back up. Hold it there. Now reverse for five and four and three and two and a one. Bring your knee in towards your chest, rest your head, and then just take that leg across your body. Look the opposite way as you pull your stomach in, keeping your shoulders down and chest nice and open. Just enjoy, enjoy that nice spine twist stretch. All right, bring that knee back into center. Switch legs. Give that thigh a good pull and lengthen that right side and flex that foot so it's nice and active. Now, straighten that leg straight up to the ceiling. Walk your hands up towards your calf. And then pull that knee close to your nose to get an extra stretch, but pull the shoulders down all at once. All right, so you're gonna just come down an inch. Hands are gonna let go, and you're gonna keep your head up if you want, or keep it down, and then across, and come back up. Across, come back up. Across, come back up, that's three. And four, and five. Hold it there, now reverse it for five. And four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, bring that knee in towards your chest, rest your head. Take that knee to the right side, look towards your left, enjoy the side of this stretch. Be sure to go over your checklist. Stomach pulling in, shoulders down, chest nice and open, and just enjoy. All right. Come back into center for me. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Extend your legs straight up to the ceiling. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Hold onto the face of your skull. And then just sit up to kick the legs for eight and seven and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Bring your knees in towards your chest, rest your head, hold on to your knees for me, and roll up to the seated position. Here we go, woo hoo. Set yourselves up for rolling in a ball by scooting your chest forward and lifting your feet up, holding on to the backs of your legs, or holding on to your ankles. Here we go. And roll back. And exhale, come up. You ladies haven't noticed, we're gonna try our best to blow through these exercises and try to get more of a cardio up. And just roll back. And exhale, come up. One more time. Roll back. And exhale, come up. Stay here, bring your legs together. Roll back on to your spine, <laughs> into a tiny little ball. Extend your left leg, keep your right knee in, and switch, and switch, 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 switch. For five, curl up higher, four, and three, and two, and one. Finish it off, bring your knees in, now do me a favor, hug your forehead between your knees, curl into a tiny, tiny little ball. Reach your arms and legs out, look down at your belly. And then come back into your tight ball. Inhale, sink your belly. And exhale. Inhale, sink your belly. And exhale, come back in. Inhale, lengthen it here. Exhale, control it. 
Inhale, reach, look down at your abdominals, squeeze your bottom, and exhale. One more time, reach, kick a hold to that right leg, give it a pull, and switch, and pull it, and switch it. Keep squeezing that bottom, keep those shoulders sliding away from your ears. Now let's pick up the pace a little bit. For five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Rest your legs, rest your head. If you want, feel free to look over to your right, stretch your neck. Look the other direction, stretch. Look center, bring those legs straight up to the ceiling, hold underneath your bottom for support, or hands, I mean hands can be behind the head and curl your head up and roll it down. And exhale, come up. And lower those legs down. And lift it up, squeeze your bottom. Keep that low back pressing into that mat. Keep that abdominal connection and lift. And down. And exhale, lift it up. One more, and down. And exhale, lift. Bend your knees, twist towards your right, extend your left leg and switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Elbows wide and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Really keep those knees drawn in towards your midline. In, breathe out, two more, in. Last one, finish it off, rest it here. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Return to your regular breath. Inhale. And exhale all the air out. All right, so we're going to start back up from the top, doing series of five. But we're only going to do about maybe three to five breaths instead of eight. <laughs> all right, here we go. Curl those head, neck, and shoulders off the mat once again. Extend that left leg out. Now give it a good pull and switch for two, for three, for four, for five. Bring your knees in. Give it a good stretch and reach. And exhale, come in. Inhale, reach. And exhale, draw it in. One more and reach. Grab a little to that right leg. Good and hold it there, yes, and pull, 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 one more each side, pull, all right, legs up to the ceiling, here we go, hold on to the base of your skull or hands underneath your bottom, and lower, and exhale, lift, and lower, and exhale, lift, one more, and lower, and exhale, lift. Bend your knees, twist towards your right, extend your left for three, and two, and one. Finish it off, you're done. Awesome. Stretch your arms and legs out nice and long so that you can lengthen your abs. Get a nice resting pose here. Breathe in nice and deeply towards your back body. And exhale all the air out. All right. Hug your knees and towards your chest. Roll up to a seated position. Stretch your legs out nice and long. Flex your feet. Let's set ourselves up with a spine stretch forward. Those arms are going to come out in front of you. Shoulders are going to wrap down. And just stretch. And exhale, come up. And stretch. And exhale, come up. If your hips are tight, soften your knees. And stretch. And exhale, come up. And stretch. Look down at your belly. And exhale, come up. Bring those arms down. And then come back to the front of your mat. Set yourselves up for the open leg rocker 
breath. So hands are gonna be inside your ankles, and you're gonna sit up nice and tall on your spot on your sit bones. So if your spine can be lengthened. All right, let's stretch, stretch the right to begin. Stretch. <laughs> and bring it in. Stretch it over to the left. Control it in. Use your belly and your booty to keep yourself lifted and not fall back. You want to lift nice and tall through your spine. You don't want to lose length in that spine as you straighten your leg. And control it in. One more each side. Stretch it over to the right and control it in. Stretch it over to the left. Control it in. Stay where you are. I'm going to move. So you're going to hold on the insides of your ankles or you can hold on to the backs of your legs. Just straighten both. Hold it there. If you want to up the ante, hold on to your calves. Back of your calves. And then roll back. And squeeze your butt and lift your chest. But take your break. Take your time with this so you can get all those points. Back. And come on up. Lift your chest. <laughs> Roll back. And exhale. Come up. Lift your chest. One more. Roll back. And exhale. Come up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Find balance on your tailbone. Bring your legs together. Take your time. Take that shape back with you. And then let's sit on our thumbs. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Rest for just a second. Maybe you can swivel your legs side to side as you're sitting on your thumbs. I promise we're gonna be moving very shortly. Okay. Legs are gonna come up to the ceiling. Flex your feet and soften the knees if those hamstrings and hips are tight. Let's take both legs over to the right, just a couple centimeters, not very far. Look left. Stretch the right side of your mouth. And bring everything back through center, including your gaze. Take it over to the left. Look right. Keep that shoulder, that right shoulder down. And exhale, everything comes back into center. The shoulders are down away from the ears. Take it over, your legs over to the right. Look left, keep that belly pulling in. Squeeze your bottom, pull your belly in, come through center. One more. Take it over to the left, look right. And exhale, gaze and legs in center. Hug your knees and towards your chest. Rest for just a second. That rest is over. Sit back on your thumbs. Legs lift up to the ceiling and heels together, toes apart. Keep your stomach pulled in. Soften your toes. Let's start your legs going over to the right, down, left, and center. Let's take it over to the left, down, right, and center. Keep that stomach pulling in. Keep that low back pressing down. Finish it. Center. Now back over to the left. Down. Right. And center. Now if you feel confident, you can make a bigger circle. You can aim those legs down, but keep that low back pressing in. One more time. Take it to the left. Down. Right and center. Hug your knees in towards your chest and just rock your body side to side. All right. Roll up to a seated position. Here we go. Extend your legs out nice and long. Flex your feet and separate them out with the part. We're going to separate, we're going to set ourselves up for the saw. So extend your arms out nice and long out to your sides. Roll your shoulders back and down. Open up your chest. Let's start twisting towards our right and aim for your pinky toe. And then exhale, come back center. Twist over to your left. Reach it long. And exhale, center. One more each side. And twist to your right. Reach. And exhale, come up. Here we go. One more. 
twist, reach, exhale, come back up. Bring those legs together and come onto your bellies. Let's get some extension work done. All right, I feel like we're making really good time. We're gonna be able to do everything that I plan to do. Yay! Okay, so start by bringing your hands in a sphinx position. You can have your um, palms nice and flat and your fingertips uh, just nice and long. But really focus on keeping your elbows drawn in and just have your gaze forward. Now, if your tailbone is lifting up from the mat, channel it to anchor down into your mat so that your low back is long. And keep your belly pulled in here so it doesn't dump into your back. All right, here we go. You're just going to take it over, look towards your right, stretch. Draw your chin down along the mat. Look left. Look center. You're going to take it over to the left. Roll your neck and shoulder. Look right. Center. One more time. To the right. Roll it down. Stretch. Look left. And center. Okay. Make fists with your hands and lift the elbows just about a centimeter from the mat. Pull your shoulders back and down and open up your chest. Squeeze your legs together. Now kick your booty with your right foot. Kick, kick, send it down. Switch it over to your left. Kick, kick, send it down. Switch it over to the right. Kick, kick, come down. To the left, kick, kick. Send it down. All right. Come down onto your forehead for now. And look to your right. Place your hands just on the small of your boot on your back. And then you're just going to bring your feet into your bottom. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale. Stretch your arms. Stretch your legs. Open up your chest here. Pull your stomach back into your spine. And then rest. Bring your feet back into your bottom. Rest your elbows, rest your shoulders. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, reach the arms, reach the legs back behind you so you can really open up that chest and allow the lats to fire in. And then exhale, rest it there. One more. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Reach those arms. Reach those legs. Roll those shoulders back and down. Squeeze your bottom. Now stay here. Heels together. Toes apart. Straighten your arms, but bring your palms down to the floor. Now open up your chest, and then give me a little heel beats for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, relax and come back and to the child's pose. Lengthen your spine. You want your belly resting between your knees and your head draping between your arms, but your arms are staying nice and active here. Stay here for an inhale, breathe nice and deeply. And exhale. All right. Come on to all fours. Separate your knees about hip width apart. And then make sure that your fists, uh, your palms are pressing firmly into the mat and those fingertips are nice and wide. Now, just start by extending your right leg out nice and long. Keep your tummy pulling in. And Lift your left arm. Think about wrapping that right tricep back. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Now lift that leg off of the mat. Find balance 
and keep holding that position as you pull your stomach in towards your spine, lengthening your tailbone long past the heel. Hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Set both limbs down. All right, let's stretch that left leg out nice and long. And then think about lengthening out of the hip so you can really find length. And when you're ready, take that right let arm out in front of you and plug it back into your arm socket. Wrap that left tricep back, pull that stomach in. Hold it here and breathe for five, four, three, two, one, challenge yourselves to lift that back leg off the mat. Pull that stomach in and up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Send those limbs down. Hold it here. Let's straighten both legs out nice and long onto the mat and hold your plank. <laughs> All right, I mean, we're here, right? We might as well add our plank. All right, spread those fingertips out nice and wide. Keep the palms pressing into the mat. And hold it here. Remind your stomach to be pulling in towards your spine. And keep those hips in level with your shoulders. You don't want your, hip, your hips up here, or you don't want it sinking down. You want to be nice and level. Hold for another five and four and three and two and one. Bring your knees down onto the floor and in a nice child's pose and just enjoy the stretch. All right. Roll up to the seated position, and then find yourselves down onto your mat once again. And lie yourselves down. All right, so what I want the you ladies to do is bring your feet just a little bit more closer to your bottom. And really open up your chest here. We're gonna be going into the exercise shoulder bridge. So, you're going to tap your tail, lift your hips up, and exhale as those hips lift. Now, stay where you are. If you feel that your feet are too far out and you're feeling a little bit of strength in your knee, just do that moment and just kind of adjust your feet, get them a little closer to your bottom. Now, keep your stomach pulled in nice and tight, pull the shoulders back and down. Now, stay here, don't do anything crazy but just lift your right leg to a tabletop position. Now hold it there for five and four, three, two, and one. Extend that leg straight up to the ceiling. Think about that, left, that right hip lengthening long so that right side waist can be long. Hold it here for three. Two, one. Now the leg moves as the foot is nice and flexed. Point, kick it up. And flex it down. Point, kick it up. Flex down, lower that leg. And kick it up. Flex down. Point, kick it up. Now, bend your knee back to tabletop and set that leg down onto the floor. Keep your hips nice and lifted. Now let's switch it over to the left. Now that left leg is gonna come up to tabletop. Hold it here for five and four, three, two, one. Extend that leg, work that left leg up to the ceiling. Hold for three, two, one, now the left leg is going to lower down to the knee, keeping it nice and straight, flex your foot, 
point, kick it up. Flex that leg down, lower. And exhale, point, kick it up. Nice, one more. Flex down. Point, kick it up, hold it here. Now set that foot down onto the floor so both feet are on. Hold it here. If you want to challenge yourself, lift your heels. Keep your booty nice and lift. Keep your booty squeezing and your hips lifting. Hold here for five and four and three. Two, one, lower your heels down, roll through your spine, lower your hips just a bit, and hug your knees in front your chest. Rock yourself side to side. And then set your feet down and separate them back width apart and windshield wiper the knees side to side. Alrighty. Bring your legs back into center and then bring your legs together. And then roll onto your side, finding a banana shape, starting with the left leg up to the ceiling. Alright, so get yourselves nice and comfortable. And here we go. Left leg lifts up just a bit and flex forward. Point back. Flex forward. Point back. Flex forward. Point back. That's three. So we're going to go for four. And five. And six. Remember to keep those hips nice and still. Shoulders do not move. And flex. And point. One more. And flex. And point. All right. Bring that leg in center. Point. And flex it down. That's one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Hold it here. Soften the toes, and now you're just going to bend your knee, extend it straight up, and lower. Extend, and lower. And bend, extend, and lower. For five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Bring that leg down. All right, so what you're going to do is Bend your knee, bring your foot towards your bottom. You're going to bring it in front of your body. Keep that foot in towards your bottom, yes. Now, extend that leg out in front of you and push it through. So it's a nice bicycle motion with the leg. Think of a big bicycle here. First seven and six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. All right, rest it there for just a second. Well done. Okay, so why don't we bring our legs back behind us just a little bit and then lay your head down on your bottom arm. Keep your top hand where it is, right up against your belly. And then keep your feet nice and soft here. Actually, no, flex your feet. Lengthen both sides of the waist and just lift both legs up as high as they can go without collapsing or dumping into your waist. And then lower down to the floor and lift it up, squeeze your bottom, and lower, that's two, and three, and four, and five, this is the last one, and lower, 
I lied. Last one. Hold it here. Then nice and lifted. Little pulses. For five. And four. Three. Two. One. Lower those legs down. And bend your knees and towards your chest. You can come back onto your head. Hands. So it's a nice little kickstand. All right. And then fire hydrants. For eight. And seven, keep your stomach pulling in, keep your shoulders down. For four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower it down, lift those feet up, and here we go for eight. And seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it there, take those feet down, lift that top leg up, and then stir a big circle for five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Reverse for five, make it really big. Four, three, two, and one, nice, send that foot down, come on up, let's switch to the other foot. All right, meet yourselves into a nice comfortable position. Take that top hand right in front of your belly, roll your shoulders back and down, flex your feet, and here we go. That top leg is just going to kick forward and point back. Flex forward. Point back, flex forward, point back. Do not move your shoulders, keep your body nice and steady. I see you. <laughs> All right, let's just do three. And two. And one. All right, bring your legs through center, kick it straight up and flex it down. Point up, well, legs down, that's two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and rest it there. All right, here we go, bend your knee, Extend it straight up and lower. And bend, extend and lower. That's three. So we're gonna go for four. And five. And six. Seven. Last one, eight. And lower it down, rest it here. Okay, bend your knee, bring that heel to your bottom. Bring that leg forward, extend it out, and push it through. Bend, bring it in, extend, push it through. That's two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Last one, eight. And rest it there. Okay, bring both feet back in line with your body. Lay that head down nice and long, resting on your bottom arm. Keep that hand where it is. Keep your belly pulling in. Keep your booty squeezing. It's a lot, I know. <laughs> Flex your feet, here we go. Lift both legs up and lower for two and three and four and five lower them down lift them up hold it there little pulses for five four three two one send those legs down bend your knees and towards your chest Lift your head up once again, and here we go. Fire hydrants, four, eight, and seven, 
and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift those feet up, clamshell for eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet down, lift your top leg up and circle for five, and four, and three, two, one, and reverse. Five, make it nice and big, oval, four, three, two, and one. All right, rest it there. We can all roll back onto our backs and grab your prop to stretch your legs. So start with your feet nice and bent. Knees are just relaxing. Start with your right side. Okay, extend that leg straight up to the ceiling. Take your time. Shoulders away from the ears. Relax the muscles in the face. And then here we go. You're just going to bend your knee. And then you're going to extend it straight up. And bend your knee. And extend it straight up. All right. Hold it there. Keep your right arm on. Left arm off. And just open those legs out to the sides, really leveling out your hips and lengthening both sides of the waist. Keep your shoulders out of it. Just allow the tension in the head, the neck, the shoulders to transfer down to your belly. All right. Bring your legs into center. Use your belly and your booty to do it. And then you'll straighten that left leg out nice and long. Switch your grip. Take that leg over to the left. Enjoy it here. To back out of it, if the stretch is too much, keep that right knee nice and soft. Or just don't take it over so, so far. You can always bring it up a little bit if it's too much. It feels good, feel free to take that leg over a little bit deeper, but keep that belly pulling in. All right, the leg is gonna come into center and switch sides. Let's go over to the left. Keep that right knee nice and bent. All right, here we go. We're gonna bend that knee in towards our chest, elbows wide. Extend it straight up to the ceiling. And bend. Extreme, extend it straight up to the ceiling. One more time. And bend. Extend it straight up to the ceiling. Keep that left arm on. Right arm comes off. Open the legs out to the sides. Keep the both sides of the hips nice and steady and secure. As that belly is pulling in and tight. And just breathe into that back body. Enjoy the stretch here. All right, you squeeze your booty, pull your stomach in, bring both legs into center, straighten out that right leg, switch your grip, take it over to the right. And once again, we're in that lovely IT band stretch. Feel free to personalize it by backing out of it or taking it deeper. Just remember to keep the muscles in the face nice and soft. Maybe closing your eyes as you enjoy the stretch. Whenever you're ready, bring that leg back into center. Take your foot back and towards your chest. Get rid of that prop as you bring both knees in towards your chest and just finish it off with some nice little hip circles here. Really just opening up the hips. Whenever you're ready, just reverse that direction. All 
All righty. So, extend your arms and legs, extend, especially your legs. Extend them up nice and long on your mat. And have your arms come up to the ceiling. Actually, pause. I want the two of you to sit up, and I'm going to demonstrate the exercise that we're going to do, and then we're all going to do it together as a class. Okay, so I'm going to be introducing the like, actual teaser. The teasers that I have introduced to you is um, teasers of uh, single leg. So the arms are going to start up to the ceiling. Your legs are, your heels are together. Your toes are apart. Now, when you curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat and you see your toes, your legs are going to lift and you're going to find balance on your tailbone and finding your teaser. Now, when you're here, you want to focus on keeping your chest nice and lifted and really squeezing your bottom. Now, if this gets into your hips, feel free to lower your legs just a bit so that you can come up and grow taller. And then maybe you can bend the knees to get out of the hip flexors. When you're done holding it, you're just going to roll down one vertebra at a time, lower the legs, lower the head, arms will lift. Yeah? <laughs> all right, let's do it all together here. All right, arms are up to the ceiling. Heels together, toes apart. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders once the toes you see the toes come up, find your teaser, open your chest. Oh my gosh, look at you ladies, you look great. Okay, keep your legs where they are, start rolling down, scoop your belly. Now lower your legs, lower your arms, relax. Woo! <laughs> All right, good news is we did one, we only just have to do two more. All right, let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Lift your feet up, find balance onto your tailbones. Pull your stomach in, keep your legs nice and long. Maybe lift your gaze just a bit, reaching past your fingertips. And then stay where you are. Pull your stomach back, roll down, roll down, roll down. Now lower your legs. Lift your arms and rest your head. Okay, get a good stretch here. Maybe stretch your arms back behind your head and lengthen out your abs. We only have one more. Cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Arms come up to the ceiling. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale, start lifting the head, lift the feet, come up, find balance to your teaser. Roll your shoulders back and down. Keep your toes nice and soft. All right, stay here. Now pull the stomach in, pull it in, pull it in as you lower, lower, lower. Lengthen those legs down, 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 and reach your arms back behind you. Pull your stomach in, and bring your knees in towards your chest. Rock your body side to side, and just give your spine some love. Well done, babies. That looks great. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Roll up, find your balance onto your tailbone, and then straighten your legs out nice and long. Flex your feet. Arms are going to come out in front of, um, out to your sides. Now keep your toes nice and soft, and let's twist over to our left, lengthening out our spines. And then exhale, center. Twist towards your right. And exhale, center. Rotate and twist. And exhale, center. Twist to your right. And exhale, center. All right. Arms can come down, bring your knees out to the sides and feet together. Maybe grab a nice little forward fold. If this is too much, feel free to cross your legs if it feels better. And just enjoy as you stay folded in half. All 
Alrighty. Sit on up to a seated position. Stay where you are. I'm going to turn to face you. So as you're sitting nice and cross-legged, you're going to take your left leg and extend it out nice and long. <sighs> okay. Keep your left arm down, right arm up, and let's lean to the left. Keep your shoulders down. Maybe lift your gaze just a bit. Bring that arm up to the ceiling. Take it down and reach it over to the right. And then come on up. Bring that arm down. Switch it over to the right and lean left. Don't go over so far where you don't have any balance and collapsing your waist. Just think about lengthening the right side of the waist more than anything here. Come on up. Think about a very small movement to begin with. All right, lift that left arm up, reach to the right. Stay here. Back out of that stretch just a little bit, the both of you. There you go, ha, ah, that's so much better. Okay, take that top hand, place it right behind the base of your skull. Now open your chest, look up, look to the ceiling, and open up that spine. Now you're gonna take your elbow, draw it in, curl the chin to the chest, and think about bringing that elbow down to the mat, but keeping that Right arm extended. All right. Come on up and come out of that stretch. Ha! Huh. And switch sides. Let's have that right arm, right leg out. <laughs> left arm up and stretch it over to your right. Enjoy. Keep that stomach only in at all times. Arm comes up. Take it down and let's reach it over to the left. All right, so if your shoulder is up by your ear, control it and aim it down. Nice, so much better. Arm comes up and let's switch it over to the right. And stretch, pull that stomach in, keep the tailbone down. Hips nice and anchored to the floor. And come up and let's switch it over. Last one. Reach to the left. Take that hand to the base of your skull. Open that elbow out. Open up your chest. Look up. And then wrap it over and down towards the back. Get that nice little stretch in the back of your neck. All right, roll on up and come out of it. <sighs> Let's set ourselves up for one more rolling exercise and we'll end standing. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll find balance on your tailbone once again, holding on to the backs of your thighs, or you can hold on to your ankles. Here we go, we're just gonna roll back. And exhale, come up, massage that spine. Yes, we're doing this again. Roll back, and exhale, come up, one more, roll back. Now as you come up, find double on your feet, and stand up, up, <laughs> stand up, 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 woo! <laughs> All right, spin around to face the, uh, to the back of your mat. You're just gonna circle your arms straight into the ceiling, reach those arms up nice and high, and roll yourselves down. All right, walk it out into your plank in three, two, one, hold it here. You can come down to your knees if you like, or you can stay in your plank. Now just bend those elbows in just an inch. Keep those elbows drawing in and press up. We're doing five of these. Four, press up. Don't dump your hips down. Only move the elbow. Only the elbows, not the hips. And press up. Nice. Bent. Very good. Press up. Last one. 
bend, press up, heel, hips back, stretch your spine, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet and stay folded in half here. Exhale, roll it up. All right, circle your arms up to the ceiling. One more step. Roll down. Walk it out into your plank. Take your time for three, two, one. Hold your plank or come down to your knees, whatever feels best. Now five truss up pushes. For one, press up. And two. Press up, even smaller. Three, press up, two more, four, press up, one more, five, press up. Send your hips back, downward facing dog. Now stay here, downward facing dog, and just bend your knees, just pedal it out. Whatever feels good. All right. Stop pedaling your knees. Just lower your heels down to the floor. Soften the knees. And walk your hands back towards your feet. Once your hands are back towards your feet, stay folded in half. Maybe you can grab your elbows so the arms will just naturally cross. And then just swing yourself side to side as you pull your belly in towards your spine. Releasing out any tension. All right. Arms are going to come out nice and long. And roll it up. Vertebra by vertebra. Articulating through that spine. Stay here. Once those shoulders come down and that head is nice and lifted, you're going to start at hands, heels together, toes apart, reach your arms out in front of you. And then press those arms back, lift your heels, and only bring your hands back towards your ribs just a bit. All right, find your balance, look left, look right, look center. Send your heels down, lift your arms up. <laughs> One more time. Press those arms down as you lift your heels with control, squeezing your bottom. Look right, look left, look center. Send those arms up as you send those heels down. All right, circle your arms up towards the ceiling. And then push those the walls away from you as those arms come down. One more time. Circle the arms up. And then arms come out to the sides. All right, we are done.